Oh dear, we've just missed a ferry. It's just gone without us. Good morning, YouTubers. So this morning we're off to Polpero on the Tall Point Ferry. It's a 10 minute wait now for the next one. Good morning YouTubers. So this morning we are going to Polpero to see about keeping the, the new dive boat there because we want to keep it in the harbour there. So that's where we're off to today. We're off to sunny Cornwall and to get there we're going to cross the um, Tamar Bridge. No, no we're going to, to get there we're going to cross the Tamar River. Is the river called the Tamar? Yeah, the Tamar River which, which borders Devon and Cornwall because we live in Devon and now we're going across the border into Cornwall uh, and we're going to get the ferry and we just missed one so we've got to wait eight minutes for another one I don't know why I find that really funny, but it's just so <laughs> funny as in a double decker bus get, <laughs> coming off the ferry. So this ferry is pulled by chains. These big chains here, you can see, they run along the, the bottom of the river and they get pulled up off the bottom and run through this device here. And that pulls the ferry along. So it's chain driven. three ferries that run across the river and they run continuously so you only have to ever wait 10 minutes on each side for a ferry. Really really great service. Right, so we've arrived in Polpero and because it's such a small little village and the roads are really narrow you can't drive uh, into the village so there's a big car park 
at the top of the village which you have to park in and then you get the little train which is here how sweet is that or, or it's a bus I suppose you, I don't know it's a, a toy bus come train thing so we're just going to wait for that and we'll pick up some rubbish at the same time so this is the big car park where everybody has to park and then you get that tram train thingy into the village That's a cool name. So this is where we're hoping to be able to uh, keep the new dive boat. I've just been told that the guy I want to speak to is down there. So we'll go and ask him. So here we are in Polperro and just out there is where the Albemarle is lying. And we're determined to find it this year. So I'm just waiting to make contact with the harbour master to find out whether we're going to get permission to be able to bring the new dive platform and keep it here. Fingers crossed. Right, so I'm trying to uh, explain this footage to you. So I was told that the guy that I needed to speak to was operating a, a pleasure trip boat. Um, so I went down to meet him. There you go, you can see me there um, walking over and uh, helping to hold on to the boat while the uh, people disembark. Uh, and then we start having a chat and I tell him what we're doing and he's saying, well, you know, we've got a long waiting list for um, for space in the harbour and it's not really something that we can, you know, help you with. So I kind of begged and pleaded and he said, well, jump on board, let's have a chat about it. So I jumped on board. And here you can see us discussing it. I, sh I show him you know, what we're doing. We're, we're, we're looking for the Albemarle, which is out, out there somewhere. Um, he's, he's heard of the boat. Um, everybody has. It's, uh, most people in uh, Podpera know about the Albemarle. And in fact, we did speak to a guy when we were there, and uh, he said, oh, you know, there's been, been some coins found over the years. His sister-in-law has got one of the coins from the ship. Oh, 
further out. You appreciate it more than that. Anyway, so then we end up uh, going into the harbour um, and we start chatting to another guy, he's on the committee as well I guess, the harbour committee or whatever. Uh, what I should mention is, um, as I know it, uh, the harbour is owned and operated by the residents of the village, uh, which is a great way of doing it, so they've obviously got a committee and a chairman and, and, and all that. So they make the decisions. Uh, so another guy that's obviously a decision maker, he's fishing and he's the other guy that's in the conversation that you can see. And then um, the harbour master um, then uh, gets on his mobile and he phones up the chairman of the committee um, and I have a chat with him on the phone and tell him what we want to do and you know they're, they're very helpful um, but they're, they're basically saying that you know there's no room here it's a small harbour and it's kind of over impacted already so uh, but he did say come back on Monday um, in the afternoon and we'll go out and have a look on the when the tide's out I guess and have a look see whereabouts we could possibly accommodate you. There you go. Right. So that's how I've left it so far. So I'm going back tomorrow and uh, which will be Monday and uh, you know, it's a long drive and it's a 200 mile, mile round trip day off work but you know needs must for the search of the Albemarle. Morning YouTubers! Um, well it might not be the morning where you are, it might be the evening, so good evening YouTubers. Right, I'm, I'm back in Polpero uh, for the meeting with the Harbour Master um, to try and uh, convince them that they should let us keep our dive boat here. I've uh, just driven a hundred miles to get here, uh, taking the day off work again, uh, so I'm hoping for uh, a good result. I previously um, said in, I think it was episode one, that the car park in here was a bit extortionate, but if you're a motorhome, I think it's motorhomes and trailers, you have to pay like double. Um, I mean, our van is the size of a motorhome, but it's not a motorhome, it's just a van. Um, and last time we did pay the double fee, because we didn't want to get a ticket. Uh, but the last couple of times, you know, I've just been paying the four fifty, four pound fifty for three hours. Um, because it's a van, it uh, doesn't say that you can't park a van. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling now, so... Anyway, wish me luck. Right, I'm going to share the news with you. It's fantastic. You can tell by the smile on my face. I've just met with a harbour master and he's agreed to let us bring the new dive platform here and work out of here. Absolutely fantastic news. It's all coming together now. What a spot as well. What a fantastic spot. Look at this. So it's really, really great news. Okay. 
Oh, so you can see that the museum's behind me here, and that's the first place if we find anything from the Albemarle. The first thing we find uh, will obviously subject to uh, British Heritage regulations. Uh, the first objects we find will be going into the museum here to support that uh, and hopefully get people more interested in coming to this fantastic village, the village of Polpero in Cornwall. It's absolutely awesome. I recommend anyone to come here. It's completely unspoiled. I was talking to a local just now and he was saying that in the 80s the Cornish Tourist Board did a survey. There was 30,000 people a day coming to this village and now there's probably about 3,000. So get down here, support it. It's a fantastic place. You won't regret it. We have been given a little spot which is right over there I can zoom in not there where's my finger I can't see my finger now. anyway it's right there where that chain is or that thing in the wall that's where we're going to be mooring just there right out of the way and it's in the shallowest part but that's because we've hopefully got a well I've designed the dive boat to have a really shallow draft I'm hoping it's going to be about 8 inches no more than that, 6 to 8 inches so that should be okay there are some restrictions but hey beggars can't be choosers